Hey, what's up everybody? Jesse Daly here. Welcome back to Daily Weather and welcome back to Today in the Tropics. It's a beautiful day here in the U.S. Virgin Islands, but the National Hurricane Center is watching Invest 94L, a tropical wave that is moving at least in the direction of where I am. Will it go north or south? It's kind of uncertain, but let's take a quick look at what the National Hurricane Center is currently looking at. Okay, my friends, let's take a look at what's happening today here in the tropics for Monday, October 14th. Since my previous video about Invest 94L, things have definitely become better organized with the system. Here's a look at the Atlantic Wide View satellite imagery courtesy of tropicaltidbits.com. The area that I'm circling is Invest 94L. If the system eventually intensifies into a tropical storm with wind speeds of at least 39 miles per hour, it would be given the name Nadine, the 14th named cyclone of the 2024 Atlantic hurricane season. There is still a lot of uncertainty around Invest 94L. The system is moving currently in an area of very dry air right now. However, more computer models are developing this into something that could affect the Lesser Antilles, possibly not far at all from where I'm located in the U.S. Virgin Islands. As of 2 p.m. on Saturday, the National Hurricane Center is giving Invest 94L a 60% chance of development over the next seven days. If we look at some of the computer model tracks, we can see that this is sort of all over the place with several models showing showing a turn to the north of the Caribbean islands while other models take it directly across the islands and the intensity um, is also in question, it could potentially reach hurricane status eventually. The storm track of Invest 94L is going to depend a lot on what happens with two areas of high pressure in the Atlantic, which are helping to steer the storm. Because high pressure systems rotate in a clockwise direction, Invest 94L may be pushed farther south, and that would not be good news for us here in the Caribbean. The National Hurricane Center is also now monitoring an area in the Western Caribbean with a low chance of development, but I'll definitely keep an eye on this one. But again, lots of uncertainty here, and that's why it's very important to follow the National Hurricane Center for the latest updates. Please also hit that subscribe button here on Daily Weather, my friends, if you would like to see updates from the Caribbean. And as always, I will keep an eye on the tropical skies come rain or shine. Thanks for watching.